Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another book review. Um, <laughs> I had always wanted to read this this book when I learned that it was uh, out on the market and I finally was able to get it through Amazon. Yeah, I know the title is really <laughs> silly in and of itself and yeah, it's, it's by Jean Weiss and um, I really <laughs> I find her extremely uh, um, ins inspirational. She um, she was born in Wisconsin, and from the very beginning of this um, autobiography, she explains what a quacker is. And it wasn't always Quacker Factory. It started out as the silent woman, and if anybody knows Jean Bice and her character and who she is, she's she's very boisterous she's very body she's uh... very talkative and she came from a family of auctioneers so she was as she says in the book she was born with the gift of gab and uh... this is true she is a uh, spokeswoman for her own product and she does what she does um, really um, exceptionally i believe Later on, uh, when she was developing the clothing line, she came up with the J.D. Duckworth. The worth being part of the whole slogan is uh, making a woman feel like she was worthy. Um, and she repeats this affirmation throughout the book and some other affirmations and wit and witticisms of um, her wisdom. And it's really quite a cute book. It's 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 not that long at all, and it's really enjoyable. It's only uh, 173 pages, and I I I, I finished it in a in a day. And one thing that kind of put me off a little bit was how annoyingly pink this book is. I I'm not a fan of the, of the color pink. I never have been. I just kind of Ugh. It's too girly. I like shades of it, like uh, rose and fuchsia, um, mauve, which is actually more purple than pink, but never girly pink like this book is. But uh, if you look beyond just the, col the color of the book itself, it's you know it's really not that big of a deal, and there's a lot of sparkle. I like the sparkle. That's one thing I really enjoy about the the cover and then Jean on the front with her wacky headband and everything. But she actually explains why she has that. <laughs> and I, I thought, well, you know, do what you can and make yourself presentable. You're worth it. And, you know, she always uh, repeats the um, I deserve it mantra. And uh, a lot of her faith is included in the book. And it's just really a <laughs> a very uplifting book in and of itself and I really enjoyed reading it and I do consider myself a quacker I have some quacker factory stuff in my closet I don't have a lot of it I still have my jacket with my anchors and uh, I get a lot of compliments on that jacket and I've had it for years and yeah it's becoming kind of frayed and I have uh, safety pins holding together both my <laughs> sleeves uh, but it still works, and uh, you know I'm not likely going to give away that uh, the jacket to anybody anytime soon, because it's it's very special to me. It was one of the last things that my mom gave to me, um, other than a few shirts that she bought for me just because she thought I would like them, and I do. And they're really beautiful. One of my favorite, other than my jacket, one of my favorite Quaker uh, pieces of. Uh, clothing would be the summer polo shirt I have with the macaws on it. And, I mean, it's absolutely lovely, and it's bright blue. One of my favorite colors of blue, and the macaw, the macaws that are on it are in kind of a neon green, or I forget. It's like neon green, neon uh, pink, neon yellow, purple, and it's just really bright and colorful and uh, fun and it, it's me all over and <laughs> I, I like the fact that she does clothing that's like this and it just makes a, a it's like she says her um, her motto is uh, 
making a woman feel good about herself, making her feel worthy, making her feel like uh, she has purpose, and um, that's what that's what being a quacker is really all about. Is that the that real essence of uh, quackitude? I'm not sure what else to call it. <laughs> I shouldn't really have a name for it, so I guess I I defined it on, on my own terms. Uh, the whole quacker idea came later as uh, she was thinking about ducks and how a duck on, on the surface of the water is very uh, peaceful and placid and never gets its feathers ruffled and glides about very easily but it's paddling like hell underneath and you know those are her words not mine and uh, I thought yeah that's pretty much true and and um, she's a bit of a philosopher in the sense and uh, that Wisconsin wit comes out and it's really quite funny and coming from the heartland myself I know what she's talking about so I, I get it I understand and that whole bias about Chicago people mm -hmm, we have that here and <laughs> y'all think you're better than us but um, just because you're city slickers it doesn't really make you that much you're you're equal with with us so don't think that you're all high and mighty and hoity-toity just because you come from Chicago um, <laughs> but uh, you know I obviously I really don't have any Chicagoans uh, to be quite firm and uh, forthright but that's you know that's just part of the fun of the book she kind of pokes fun at people from Chicago um, let's see I don't know what really else to say about the book other than it's really quite uh, uh, an enlightening little book and it's very uplifting. And if you're having a if you're having a bad day, then pick it up and you'll feel better about yourself. And it was just what I needed at the right time because uh, this week has been oh my lord this this week has been utterly insane. And I think it's because of the full moon. It's just people have been utterly loony and they have just uh, been ridiculous in how they've been treating me and well today was a lot better actually and I think the rest of the week is going to be fine as uh, the moon starts to wane but oh well at least I know that uh, matters are starting to look up for me and uh, this book just proved it and it was just the thing I needed at the needed at the right time, and uh, I like to use the word synchronicity. And I think that synchronistic synchronistic things are happening more and more and more. Uh, and I think that's because I've been meditating, I've been exercising, I'm doing my best to eat right and keep myself hydrated, sleep as much as I can, get enough sleep at night, and uh, it's just so helpful. And uh, I feel more in tune than ever before. And of course, I'm being tested more than ever before because of it, but that's to be expected. Um, if you have anybody who is uh, a fan of Gene Vice or is a quacker or knows somebody who's a quacker, uh, then uh, by all means, you could give this to them as a Christmas present, and I think that they would absolutely adore it. And it's it's kind of like a, a reference book that you could come back to, sort of like something maybe uh, Dr. Dyer wrote or Deepak Chopra or um, <clears throat> Greg Braden. It's it's uh, it's on the same kind of line as that, but uh, since I really don't have any room for it, I'm going to have to sell it uh, to half price. I, I don't really want to get rid of it because uh, um, it reminds me of my mom, but I I really don't need that um, book to remind me of my mother because I have a r reminder of her with me at all times, and that would be that, as well as uh, my earrings. Uh, so I'm not really uh, too heavy-hearted over parting with it, but whoever gets it, I'm I'm sure that they'll love it because uh, it's just really quite. Uh, <laughs> magnificent and just a really um, sensational book and this was uh, given to somebody named Marsha Johnson for her birthday in 2005 and it's from this woman named Carolyn M. Maurer M-A-U-E-R and I don't know these women but 
I'm not going to make any uh, assumptions, but I'm thinking that they are uh, quackers. And it was written, it was presented to this uh, Marsha in 2005, and the book was written in 2005, I do, yeah, 2005. So it's a fairly recent book, and uh, I, w I just wanted to read the, um, the uh, leaflets on the inside, because I, I think this explains the book better than I could, ever could. Having one of those days, feeling a bit down and out, looking for a ray of sunshine, a good laugh, or a new friend? Well, look no further, because head quack Jean Bias is here to raise your spirits with a quirky, quacky book that's sure to chase the blues away. Full of the same sparkly, f sparkly flair and folksy charm that has made Jean one of QVC's most popular guests, pull yourself up by your bra straps as a humorous getaway from the everyday. Part memoir, part handbook for life, this little book will help you with the big stuff like friendship, marriage, and learning to love yourself, as well as the small stuff like 12 ways to make your, make your day more quacky, the etiquette of asparagus hunting, that part's really, really quite hilarious, and the life-altering potential of a post-it note. Why am I thinking of double D? Meh, I have my reasons. <laughs> In these whimsical pages, you'll find out how America's most inspirational designer almost ended up living under a bridge, how her company, Quacker Factory, got its name, and how to answer to the question on everyone's lips. Why on earth does Jean wear that headband? <laughs> In the same way that Quacker Factory clothes make you feel good just by putting, putting them on, sitting down to read a bit of this book will put joy in your heart and a spring in your step. In this busy world, it's easy to lose track of your steps. Now it is time to pull yourself up, well, by your bra straps. The inspiration you've been waiting for is right here, so sit back, relax, and go Quackers. I don't know if, if there are any male Quackers in the world. I guess this book would kind of be awkward, as I'm not really sure what she would call it. I wonder if there are. Like, it kind of makes me ponder if there are such a thing as male quackers in the world. Uh, <clears throat> make, uh, make husbands of <laughs> husbands of their of their wives. Jean Bias is the founder and proprietor of the Quacker Factory Clothing Company. Once an amateur crafter, Bias had turned her hobby into a business when her husband died, leaving her with two children to raise. Discovering, discovered during a QVC entrepreneur hunt, Bias Clothing is now one of the most popular, popular lines sold on the channel. She lives in Boca Raton, Florida. You can learn more about Jean and the Quacker Factory at www.quackerfactory.com. So... I think she's still doing those shows on QVC, and I just thought of something. I'm not, a, I'm not really a, a watcher of of this particular show, but I don't know why this idea popped into my head. I I know a little bit about it, only the, <laughs> only the, uh, since uh, I've heard bits and pieces. But what if, what if uh, Jean Vice met up with uh, the cast and crew of Duck Dynasty? I think it would make a great skit, <laughs> if anything. I don't know if it would happen in real life, but just think about it. Quacker Factory and Duck Dynasty. Both things that mention ducks. <laughs> I think they would get along just fine. Although the, um, there would be a little bit more redneck in the room, I think. But um, that's just something that popped into my head and I thought was funny. So I just thought, eh, why not? Share it. <laughs> Uh, I'll be doing some more reviews in the near future. I highly doubt that I will. I don't know if I'm going to be seeing Rush or not because my dad was thinking, oh, it's more, it's, uh, more garnered toward the female demographic. Yeah, it is because, hey, look at those hunky, hot, sexy men. Woohoo! But um, uh, more than likely, I may be seeing it this weekend, so I will be doing a review of it when I do. So until then. I shall see you when I see you. Happy uh, Sukkot. Those who are celebrating it, shalom. Um, other than that, I will see you later. Ciao. <laughs>